introduce um, our first um, speaker to the audience. Um, he's from Taiwan, Mr. Guzman Chen. Chen, Chen? Yeah. Um, he received his uh, bachelor degree in the Department of Electrical Engineering at the National Taiwan University and is right now working on um, towards his master's degree at the very same university. Um, yeah, his research subjects are digital video signal processing, video coding, and um, especially HDC. So, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
singles uh, 4HD frame, we need 8 seconds to do uh, adaptive filters, which is now real time. And there seems more and more con mobile consumer electronic devices, such as smartphones and tablets, are widely used today. And there, there's comment uh, for these devices that there's only limited computation resource in these devices. And the algorithm of current adaptive filter uh, capacity is too high for these devices to implement. Therefore, we require lower capacity and faster algorithms for adaptive filter in HVBC. We further investigate the adaptive filter capacity, and we found that more than four, about 40% of the capacity is at the statistic gathering stage in adaptive filters, because at this stage, many uh, auto correlation and cross correlation is done. And uh, auto correlation and cross correlation requires many modifications. Therefore, the complexity is really high at this stage. And we start to think how, to, and we, we will focus on this, on this part in this paper. Um, <coughs> first, we uh, think of one of the very commonly used tools to reduce complexity in image processing area, which is that simple. It's very simple and sometimes very effective. Um, the picture gives you the example. This is a two by two pixel patch. And we always choose the left top one pixel to do what we want. And the red pixel, we do nothing. This is the concept of subsample. And we apply this subsample scheme uh, directly on the current adaptive filter algorithm. And we find it deteriorates the quality very much. Uh, for about half subsample ratio, uh, 0.32% of video waves increase. And for uh, one fourth subsample ratio, uh, real 0.5 percent of video rate increase. And um, and we think that the uh, performance is not very good. So we start to think if there's another way to uh, reduce the complexity yet keep the uh, performance. Then we observe that edge plays a very important role in the developer field. So we start to think about using edge information to help us sample uh, more efficient. Okay, therefore we propose two subsample schemes. Uh, the first one is LCU-based edge subsample scheme. The other one is page-based edge subsample scheme. I will introduce them later. In the first, in the beginning, I will introduce one concept called edge strength. The concept is very simple. It's just Calculate the difference from the left, left pixels and the upper pixels. Then uh, I will do uh, the sum of absolute value. And we use this value to denote whether this pixel is an age is an age or not. Okay. Uh, as you basically have some more speak. The status is follows. Uh, first we calculate the age strength of each pixel within LCU. And then we saw the pixels in descending order according to their age strength. Um, then we will get a statistics of pixels which has higher age strength. The picture gives the examples. Uh, the black line is the age, and the red one is the uh, pixel which has which we have calculated which has a, a higher uh, age strength. Therefore, we use we choose this red pixels to gather in statistic information and do auto and cross correlations while we do nothing for the rest of blue pixels. And we can see from the uh, button table. The table shows that the results of uh, half sub subsample ratio, the bit rate increasement is only 0.04%. And for the one fourth subsample ratio, the bit rate increase is 0.14%. The other one, the other um, proposed uh, approach is uh, page-based edge subsample scheme. It's, uh, it's very similar from the previous one. And the step is to first calculate the edge strength of each pixel within the patch and choose a pixel um, which has the highest edge strength in, in the patch to get a statistic. The 
if you give some examples, the black line is the age, and for each two by two patch, pixel patch, uh, we will find the highest, uh, the pixel which with the highest uh, edge strength, which is the red pixels. We do the, we do a statistic gathering as for this pixel, and by the rest pixel we do nothing. Okay. This is the performance of the, this uh, approach for uh, half subsample ratio. The uh, B rate increment is about 0.06%, and for one fourth subsample ratio, the B rate increases 0.16%. Okay, um, here gives a brief summary. Uh, for um, the two, appro uh, two proposed approach to uh, subsample, we find that it has 72% performance improvement than the direct subsampling scheme which just introduced uh, in the beginning. And in terms of BD rate, that is about 0.28% to 0.36% BD rate improvement. And compared to the current uh, adaptive filter algorithm uh, for statistic gathering level, uh, at most about 71% for one for subsample ratios is achieved. Okay. And um, the assumed that the skin has a very good uh, great performance and less, only less computation capacity. However, it requires additional memory space to store the edge strength which, just calc which we have calculated. And the page edge base has good performance and less comp computational complexity and it's easier for the power implementation. Okay. In this paper, we propose two schemes to reduce the complexity of a W filter but still keep the coding performance. And less than 0.06% BD rate increase uh, compared to the anchor uh, HBC reference software HA model. And uh, compared to the current uh, adaptive field algorithm, at most 71% of complexity is reduced uh, on one for subsample ratios. And the history of reference, and thank you for reason. Okay, so um, thank you, Mr. Chen, for your interesting talk. Are there any questions in the audience? One. Okay, so um, I was um, a bit wondering about um, um, could you give, it, uh, give an impression about um, what these statistics are you are trying to collect after you select the pixels? Okay, uh, the statistics that give us about the cross correlation or auto correlation information, and they use this information to derive a coefficient for further filtering. Yeah, that's why this statistically important. Um, um, maybe as last one, um, mm -hmm. can you also? Okay, um, as last question, maybe um, can you also give um, an estimation of the overall saving in computation time? Because I guess you um, you are stating numbers you are saving mm -hmm. compared to the ALS, mm -hmm. which is present. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mean to compare to the whole code? Yeah, yeah. Um, about uh, at most about uh, more than twenty percent. Yeah, we can see that uh, uh, about uh, no. Yeah, about um, five percent about total in for the total encoding. Yeah, capacity reduction. Okay, this uh, sounds like a pretty huge number. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so thank you again for your talk.